What's going on YouTube? It's your guy Darren. I'm the Voltai Fragrance Guy. On this channel, we talk about fragrances and fashion. So if you mess with your boy, I'm going to have you looking good and smelling absolutely amazing. So if that sounds interesting to you, I invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you don't mind, take a quick second as well to hit the bell icon as well. That way you get notified every time I upload new content on the channel. So guys, we're about two weeks out from the actual first day of spring. So today I'm going to be dropping my top 10 designer spring fragrances. So if you want to know what my 10 recommendations are going to be or the 10 fragrances that I'm personally going to be wearing, you know how we get down. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to go ahead and jump into the list. I love the springtime because just like fall, it's a transitional season. So you really get to see a variety of different fragrances. Springtime to me reminds me, of course, it's the time when things are coming back to life. And I like notes in the springtime like vetiver. Uh, this is oftentimes where I wear more uh, floral centric uh, fragrances. So it's just a really good time to, uh, for me because it reminds me, like I said, of, of things brightening back up and flowers starting to bloom. And again, it's starting to get a little bit warmer outside. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the first fragrance on the list today. And that fragrance comes from the house of Lacoste and this is Lacoste Lone. Lacoste Lone. Now I told you guys uh, a few weeks ago when I introduced this fragrance on my channel that this is one that you will be seeing again because I just really love the way this thing smells. It's really mouth-watering to me. Uh, this fragrance has rhubarb. Oh, man, it has a nice ginger almond accord um, in, the, in the heart of this fragrance. Nice cedar wood on the dry down. Man, this is just a, a beautiful scent. It is just so relaxing when I wear this scent right here and it smells amazing. And the great thing about this one right here is that you can find it at a great Price. This fragrance you can usually find around that $30 price point and that is amazing value for what you get in this bottle. This is definitely one of the best Lacoste fragrances um, of any fragrance from the house of Lacoste uh, in addition to uh, Lacoste White or Blanc or whatever they call it, the one in the white bottle from the L1212 line. Uh, this is that fragrance and this, the best two fragrances from Lacoste in my humble opinion. But Again, this one's gonna get some heavy burn in my rotation this spring. So coming in at the 10th spot from the house of Lacoste, this is Lacoste Lone. All right, coming in at the ninth spot on this list, this fragrance has made a spring list or two of mine before in the past, and it is back on the list this year from the house of Tom Ford. This is Grey Vetiver. Grey Vetiver, this is just something that so, is so manly, man. The vetiver in this is so manly. There's amber in this, there's oak moss. So it's just a very, very masculine take on vetiver, and I really enjoy that. In the springtime, when I do have to dress up full suit, shirt, and tie, this is a great one for me to wear because it is a sophisticated fragrance. I love this one right here. Beautiful vetiver scent, and I haven't worn it as much as I would have liked in the past. So I'm definitely going to make sure that I give this some more attention in my rotation this year. So coming in at the ninth spot, again, from the house of Tom Ford, this is Grey Vetiver, Eau de Parfum. Coming in at the eighth spot this year, this fragrance comes from the house of Hermes, and this is Terre de Hermes, Eau Intense Vetiver. Eau Intense Vetiver. I was very, very happy when this one came out about two, three years ago, because I love the original Terre de Hermes. What they did with this one, basically, the citruses are toned down just a little bit, and they've amped up the vetiver. And like I said, the, the springtime is a perfect time of the year to wear a vetiver based scents or fragrances that has or features the note of vetiver because in the spring vetiver just works for me and again I love Terre Dermes the original and I love this one as well with the amped up vetiver note it works really really well during the springtime so a spot this year goes to Terre Dermes or intense vetiver all right guys and coming in at the seventh spot this year I love this fragrance from the house of Mason Margiela. This is Under the Lemon Trees. 
under the lemon trees. Now, when I first got this fragrance, it was around the April time frame. So it's very nostalgic for that reason. And it was the perfect time for me to acquire that and add this to the collection because to me, this is the perfect fragrance to wear in the spring. Summer as well, but primarily spring. This is a great fragrance. This one features notes of lime. There's some petted grain in this as well. I love the white musk, a nice, a uh, clean white musk on the dry down of this fragrance. And there's also a tea note, which is so relaxing. And I love that about this fragrance. It really puts me in a nice, calm, relaxed mood. Love this stuff. Always the one that'll be in high rotation for me because I just love it that much. From the house of Mason Margiela, this one is Under the Lemon Trees. And coming in at the sixth spot this year, the number six spot goes to a familiar fragrance for this time of year from the house of Prada. This is Prada Lone. It's really, really hard for me to make a list for the springtime and not put Prada Loam on it. I work in an office environment and I spend a lot of time in the office. And for me, this is just a, the perfect office scent to wear in the springtime. You can wear this casual, more dressed up in the springtime. It just works. A beautiful, nice, really sexy Irish fragrance from the house of Prada. You guys have probably heard about this one by now, but again, doesn't change the fact that it's a good fragrance to wear during the springtime from the House of Prada. This is a classic now, Prada alone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at the fifth spot this year, this fragrance was just released earlier this year, or I think it was earlier this year or late last year from the House of Armand. This is Club de Nuit Siage. Club de Nuit Siage. Look at that beautiful bottle. Of course, you guys know by now this fragrance smells a lot light creed silver mountain water and i will tell you they did an amazing job <laughs> at cloning the, that particular fragrance it really is really 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 close but of course you're going to pay a fraction of the cost and that's what a lot of people love about these fragrances from our mom and that's why it made the list for me that whole vibe that silver mountain water gives another fragrance that features a beautiful tea note love fragrances in the spring that give me that nice soothing calm vibe that seems to be what the note of tea does for me when it's used in fragrances oftentimes and i love that i love silver mountain water and for what you pay for this i absolutely love club de noe siage and that's why of course it made this list at the fifth spot this year again from our mom this one is called club de noe siage All right coming in at the fourth spot this year i told you guys you would see this one again <laughs> This fragrance is getting a lot of my attention nowadays, and it, it's, it, you can get this at, at, for less than 30 bucks, man. And it, it's just unbelievable that, they, that this fragrance, you can find it at that price point. Anyway, coming in at the fourth spot this year from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo, this is Aqua Essenziale Blue. Aqua Essenziale Blue, man, this is a fantastic fragrance, especially you're paying less than 30 bucks, it is absolute highway robbery that you can actually acquire this fragrance for less than $30. Like seriously, I don't know whose idea it was to sell this fragrance for less than 30 bucks, but whoever you were, shh, thank you so much. I absolutely love this stuff. I've talked about it before on the channel. If you love Blue de Chanel, if you like Dylan Blue, this fragrance kind of puts you in the mindset of those fragrances, more so Blue de Chanel. But again, you're paying a fraction of the cost. Guys, this is just really, really good. I love this fragrance. It just smells fantastic. There's no way to really describe this other than the fact that it smells absolutely amazing. And that's why it made this list my top spring fragrances for the year of 2021. Love this stuff from Salvatore Ferragamo. This is Aqua Essenziale Blue. All right, guys, and coming in at the third spot on my spring designer list this year, this fragrance comes from the house of G. Saint Laurent, and this is L'Homme Le Parfum. L'Homme Le Parfum. I told you guys before when I talked about this fragrance and mentioned it on the channel before, this fragrance was released the last year, in the year of 2020, and it really kind of went unnoticed. Nobody was really talking about this fragrance, but if you're looking for a great fragrance, now this one is sincerely a compliment magnet. The times I've worn this, I've gotten compliments on, multiple compliments on this fragrance. And I guess because it, 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 it because it, it kind of went in that, someone in that blue direction, and I, maybe some people are kind of tired of the whole blue uh, type fragrances. Maybe that's why it went relatively unnoticed. I'm not sure, but guys, if you haven't put your nose on it, do so. It does give you, uh, remind you of the original loan 
which I really love, which is another good fragrance for the spring, but it has ozonic notes in this. They uh, actually have some geranium, and also this one features a note of vetiver as well, amber wood, so really, really mass appealing, kind of blue DNA added to the original long DNA, but what it equals is a very easy to wear fragrance that really smells great and gets compliments. So coming in at the third spot for me, this fragrance comes from the house of Yves Saint Laurent, and this is Lone Le Parfum. All right, guys, and coming in at the number two spot on the list this year, this fragrance comes from the house of Prada, and this is Prada Luna Rosa Sport. Prada Luna Rosa Sport. Guys, I do not understand I do not understand why this fragrance does not get more attention. I cannot figure it out. I, I, maybe it got lost in the shuffle because this was released in 2015. I think Luna Rosa Carbon came out after that. And of course, uh, Prada Luna Rosa Black, which is an amazing scent, which is probably the best one. But this, to me, is probably a close second. This thing smells absolutely heavenly. It smells divine and nobody really talks about Prada Luna Rosa Sport. But again, I'm gonna give this fragrance a lot of attention this spring because it really deserves it. This stuff smells so good. As a matter of fact, this is gonna be my scent of the day because it just absolutely smells fantastic, man. It is really hard to beat. If you're just talking about just a fragrance that smells great, it's gonna get some positive attention. It's really hard to beat this stuff. It smells so good and nobody talks about it. But it made my list for the number two spot this year for spring from the house of Prada. This is Prada Luna Rosa Sport. And coming in at the number one spot this year, I just did a review on this fragrance. If you have not seen it, I will link it up here. Make sure you go and check that video out. A another one to me that kind of got lost in the shuffle. This comes from the house of Chanel, and this is Chanel Allure Home Sport. Chanel Allure Home Sport. Yes, this one came out before Allure Home Sport O Extreme. I love to wear Chanel Allure Home Edition Blanche in the summertime, but the best one for the spring is this one right here, the original Chanel Allure Home. And just like Prada Luna Rosa Sport, I think this one was kind of the victim of having some great fragrances that came out afterwards that were really, really good. It became a victim of the success of the fragrances that came afterwards. Uh, Chanel Alone Sport O Extreme, Edition Blanche, amazing fragrances, but this fits in that same category, an amazing scent, and it is great to wear in the springtime. And it's gonna be getting a lot of burn in my rotation this year from the house of Chanel. This is Chanel Allure on Sport. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video as I gave you guys the top 10 fragrances that I'll be wearing this spring of my designer collection. As always, I appreciate your time and attention to these videos. Of course, you don't have to watch, but I sincerely appreciate you watching. I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to take a few moments, if you don't mind as well, to like, comment, and subscribe. And take a few moments to share these videos out to some other folks that you think may find this information entertaining or useful because I'm your guy, Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Peace.